Welcome YouTube! We are playing uh, Frog Detective today. So there's three games, so I'm thinking I'm gonna split each VOD into three parts. If you're watching live, you're gonna watch the whole thing straight through. Uh, but we're gonna split this between three parts. Uh, so part one, you're watching right now. Part two will either be out tonight or tomorrow. It depends if I stream tomorrow. If I stream tomorrow, then it'll be out tonight, if that makes sense. And then part three will be out 24 hours after part two. YouTube is building us. Uh, let's just switch away from that. Uh, oh crap, it's still there. <laughs> oh no. All right. We're on controller, as always. Uh, let's make it case three. Wait, crap. Okay, I thought it was like a login screen. I'm an idiot. I think it might actually just give me the third case. Yeah, it did. I'm an idiot. Hang on, let's go back. If you remember how, like, you guys know, I always, whenever I do a save slot, I always do the third slot because that's every game that I finished, it's always been in the third slot. I don't know why, but we have to actually do case one. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, so we're frogging. We're doing detective stuff. It seems pretty fun. I should have been sewing the frog today. Yeah, honestly. Guys, if you join my Discord, you can see the cute little frog that um, Penguin sewed. It's in my art channel. Frog Detective 1. Which one was this? This was like an island or something. I forgot to read. Whoa. Okay. Move using that as always. Aw. Oh. There's a phone ring. Hello. Who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat. Uh, oh, okay. That means welcome back, I think. I don't, I don't, I feel like it'd be racist if I tried to say that or something. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. All right, do you see the frog? I made it at heart. Oh, penguin, it's me, everyone. That's me. I um, I saw the frog. I don't know if I saw the heart. I don't know if you posted the heart, but I did see the frog, and I also told you how good it was. <laughs> so get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. Why is this game just all my friends and penguin sloth? Where's the rat? Dude, I hope there is a rat. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Where's the alien? Wait, the painting? I'm in the painting! Oh my god, he is! It's right there! That's so cool. Yeah, but you're pretty good, so are you up for it? I don't know, it sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just why I need it here. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are... There's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why'd you yell the haunted island like that? <laughs> because that's the title of the case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. <laughs> What's up, Stroke? Welcome to chat. I'm in the game. Yeah, a lot of us are in the game now. It's sick. We got Zenith. We got a uh, penguin. We got a sloth. Who's the sloth? Which... Wait, I'm trying to remember. Who's the sloth? See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. All right, cool. Here we go. <laughs> Grab your magnifying glass. <laughs> I lost. I lost. I'm sorry. I lost. I lost my ability to say words for a second. Ah, yes. My twisty magnifying glass. <laughs> Can't solve mysteries without it. Got your magnifying glass. <laughs> You've played Fortnite with Sloth, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, Slothbug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know her. She's not in my community, but I do know of her. Look through your magnifier with right trigger. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, let's see if there's anything in the painting. Anything? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm a child. Oh, why doesn't anyone watch me, man? I don't know. I don't know. Time to solve a mystery. Here we go. Now, anytime someone says something 
Anything close to penguin, I have to keep remembering it's not me. <laughs> Apparently, this is from the company that made Super Hot. It said, when I opened it, it said Super Hot con uh, uh, Presents. Super Hot Presents. So, a frog detective adventure. We watch you because you love your content. Yeah, you guys are silly as me, as childish as me. <laughs> I think each game is about an hour to two hours, probably long. I don't remember making this game. No, you're extra hot. You're extra spicy. This is super hot. You, you were close though. Oh, that's racist. Larry the Lobster. Mo the Mouse. <gasps> There's a mouse! Boys, let's go! <laughs> Am I spicy because Latino? No? I mean, maybe. I'm spicy because Indian, so I guess... I guess, yeah. Maybe you are spicy because Latino. <laughs> Yo, we got all of our community in this game. This is the perfect game to be playing right now. I'm so happy. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I was going to tell you. Because it's so... It's so cool. Um, During the strike... So, obviously, my uni university been on strike this week. Um, During the strike... They have a drag story hour. Like, I think it already happened. Yeah, it's two. So it's already happened. But I'm. it's so cool. I'm so glad that they... <laughs> all of the community sobs. Yeah, I'm sure you'll show up at some point, maybe. I don't know if they'll have a slot, uh, a moth, but maybe. But yeah, it's so cool. They, um... The fact that they're, like... Like, bringing a marginalized group in, even though it might affect the strike. And create more negativity towards it. But I think the people who are already negative towards it are gonna be negative regardless, so... But it's so cool. I'm so happy. It made me so happy to see. Ah, uh, you finally made it! Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. Oh my gee, they haven't banned the dragster thing? I've heard about it being banned somewhere. They don't ban- yeah, they didn't ban in New Jersey. In fact, they have- I think they just passed a bill for, like- trans rights in New Jersey, like medical rights and all that in New Jersey. And it's like, if people come from other states, they can also get help here. Like it, it was a pretty big thing in the news recently. Um, but yeah, we have like a story hour or we had, I guess it just, I think it happened, but pretty cool. I, I just saw the whole like info sheet for everything that was happening on the picket line today. And that made me so excited. Unfortunately, I woke up at like 1, so I missed it, but <laughs> and I had the stream, but I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog post? Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 <laughs> Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course, can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? Uh, where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm, Larry the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. Uh, I'm moving to New Jersey. <laughs> me, I do. I steal the forest. Uh, that's destroying this planet. How dare you? I'll check it out. Thanks. What would you like to know? Uh, the resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, oh, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Uh, nothing. Thank you for your help. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. Alright, we want to talk to Lobstar. Or Crab. What are you? Something. I steal it to bring them to koalas and slots. Hell yeah. Hi, it's me, Larry. I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't- I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like, more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just- I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you- Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I- Are you gonna ask me questions? <laughs> yeah, ask me them. The questions, I mean. <laughs> the noises. What can you tell me about the no- Firstly, I am NOT the one making them. Yeah. But I do- But I do know where they're coming from. What? <laughs> they're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? 
Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean I'm a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some kind of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some plot pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them, the questions I mean. Uh, ingredients. Oh, do I, am I just asking for them again? Uh, toothpaste, wool, gold, pasta. Okay, anything else? Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective, we still need- Oh, okay. I, I wasn't sure if there's anything else that he was going to tell me. Okay, we got to get four items. Goodbye, senor. You got anything to say to me? Big man? Big tall man? Bernie? Hey, you're the detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really should have taken this job. Why'd you take it? Uh, I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out. Like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh, no. You're right. I better look my <laughs> look confident. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? Nothing right now, actually. But literally, let's let's just look for the stuff we need, and then we can ask some questions later. I don't think there's any point wasting time. This looks like pasta. Oh. Oh, I knew ask this guy for the pasta. It's a bear, the koalas in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is B Bernie. Secret agent. You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. <laughs> Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass. There's nothing I want more. Interesting. Alright, let's just ask about the hole first. What do you know, know about the noises coming from the hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. It does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Uh, I'm not a secret agent. Okay, uh, let's just give him the magnifying glass so we can get the pasta. Uh, fine, fine, you're a secret agent, whatever. What else do you want to know? Oh, wait, okay, I thought we'd give him the magnifying glass so we could get pasta. Go to Walmart and get one then, you're, they're not expensive. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna roll all the way back to Walmart. All right, let's talk, hi. Let's talk to you. Now it's the koala. Hi, howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming, but there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea, but it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. <laughs> May I ask why you're so sad? What's well, kind of silly? I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well... Go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice, right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? No. <laughs> why do they both look the same? I want... Yeah, they do look kind of the same. Like, the koala and Bernie both have like the same head shape and stuff. Oh, hi. You're chilling, bro. What are you? Stomp. Oh, we can't stomp it. Bro, I hate spiders. They scare me. There was a spider in my house yesterday in the kitchen, and I just left it. And I'm sure it's just living its life now. Hi, you got anything to say? Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Are you the, uh, yup. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Huh? No. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes, of course. Why would you- well, I love that. That's awesome. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. Your smile. It's so beautiful. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have a wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad fi someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth? Of course. Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth? I get shipment here every three days. I go through this stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. 
Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do, do you have teeth? Uh, well, I could give you my two, but I need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Your clothes. <laughs> yeah, let me just chill here, right here next to you. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, d -tech. Uh, I think we're good. Okay, so... We need to get him some stuff that will be like, okay... Good for, good for, um... Getting the toothpaste. We need to probably get the bear some stuff for, uh... His thing. That's a magnifying glass. Give me that. Ah, stop right there. Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very smagile and sm f smagile. They're very smagile and frall. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I was worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Uh, let's talk about the tiny shells. Schmagel. In indeed, schmagel. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha 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 ha, you fool. Hey, sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions. Okay. So we gotta go get this guy's shell so we can get his- Oops, I did not mean to do it again. I don't care about the cave. We'll get to the cave later. The cave is not our issue right now. Our issue is getting a shell. A big shell. A large shell. Whoa. Hello? I see you. I saw you. Wait. Where did that guy go? How do we get over there? Was it on the other side of the beach? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Alright, I don't like my hair anymore. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's go find this guy. I feel like if we go around this side, we might be able to find him. Do you have a shell? No. Uh, what? Where? What the heck? Was that the ghost? What in the world? Maybe I don't want to find a moth? Yeah, I agree. What the hell is that bug, bro? Okay. Uh... Oh, dude, I thought- I was like so confused what those lights were. Okay, uh, let's see what else we got over here. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scoob- Scobby Doo. <laughs> Who took my sunglasses? Give back. By me. Okay. Oh, on the back. Why are you back here? <laughs> this game's funny, dude. I like this game. I'm a big fan of this game so far. It's cute. Science line. Don't go in. I want to go in. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Hey, how's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Most boredly bored mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For, for, for the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Give me your wall. Give it to me. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's just so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually cut once... I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings, but there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is ghost grossed out by it. Ah, uh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not, but it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper's made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah, that's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. That sheep is wool from Amanda the Adventure. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> all right, but what if I wore a coat made of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who's very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. Uh, okay. Anyway, this is just going for so long. 
Uh, I need a broom. I need a broom to clean this up. Okay. Uh, alright. Let's go get a broom for this guy. There's so many little things I gotta do just to get the explosive. I also- oh, 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 look at that. Wow. Oh, a broom. <laughs> Got a broom. No one feels that way, but it feels true in my heart, yeah. It's a horror game, you've probably heard about it. Got really popular in the middle of last year. I never play those, like, indie horror games. I don't know. I always just- I feel like there's a lot of horror games that have kind of, like- That- I feel like people just- Do the same thing. Like, I've seen it with- uh, Poppy's Playtime. I've seen it with, um, what was that one, like, school one? There was, like, a school one. It all felt like kind of the same stuff. I don't know. Like I said, though, I want to play Amnesia if we get to the channel point thing, which I will set up soon. I haven't had time because I ended stream and essentially just started this one <laughs> after waking up, so. Wow, who are you? I didn't mean to start you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, Fine, I guess. Just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Any Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're king? Well, when I got here, there's nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. <laughs> Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I... Add what the... F what? Okay. Uh... None of this is important to me. <laughs> maybe we'll maybe we'll come back to you. I I don't feel like dealing with you right now. You're a little bit too tired. Uh, we haven't talked to this guy yet. The mouse. We'll call him a rat. It's a rat. It's a rat. It's Mo the rat. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You're nervous. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, but it's a detective thing. I told you. Uh, I'm afraid of detectives? Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. Sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you afraid of me? Fine, you've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because I'm a mystery monkey. <gasps> mystery monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think mystery monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Uh, there's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show mystery monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask mystery monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash mouthwash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Okay. Let's do that. I'll come back later. Uh, Garna Ban Ban? No, that's not what I'm talking about. There was, there was like this... Uh, what was it called? Uh, it was like this really weird game. Like, it the, it looked really not, like, great. <laughs> like, the visuals weren't that great. It was kind of like... And you just had to run through the halls of a school, I think. I don't know. Alright, let's hand over the broom and get the wool. Yeah, I, I, it was like a pretty big game for a while. I'm sure that someone, I'm maybe someone in VOD will know what I'm talking about. I don't know. All right, tell me your favorite dance. Uh, dance styles. Hey, so uh, you uh, do you like dancing and uh, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, I think breakdancing is so neat. <laughs> okay, in interesting. Got a monkey fact, let's go! Okay, that's funny. This game's very, very silly, I like it. I'm having fun. Just had to check, I had to make sure. Had to make sure. <laughs> Here's some questions, questions, yes. Dance styles. Hit him with the monkey fact. Uh, likes break dancing. Okay, and here's the mouthwash. Thank you. Okay, I think the last person that we barely talked to was the king. I think they will give us something 
So we want to get the magnifying glass from this guy, which means we need to get a shell, which hopefully this guy will help us get. I think that's the plan. Unless there's something here that I missed. See, that guy's just... Oh, can I walk here? Can I? No. It's stuck. Mouthwash for the toothpaste? That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. You guys are right. Good job. Thank you. I don't think it's a crocodile. Is it? Oh. For some reason, I thought it was a lizard. Okay. Uh, here is the mouthwash. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. Okay. I like this guy. This guy's very chill. He's a very nice guy. Okay, so we got two other things we need. We also need pure gold and pasta. Don't know how we're going to get uh, the pure gold. I don't remember the difference between alligator and crocodile. Yeah, no, neither do I. But I was more um, unsure if... Uh, I didn't realize that it was a crocodile at all. Or either. Like, I thought it was a... Uh, 100% like a a lizard or something. Sorry. I'm really... Yo, guys. My brain is really working so well today. Let me just check something real quick. Uh, there we go. Go ahead. Uh, Crown is gold. Oh, true, true, true. Who's Finley? You mentioned friend Friendly. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. Last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing. Not like me, she'll probably win. Um. Okay. It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Okay. So that was unnecessary. About the noises. Tell me about the noises. How do you know for sure I have a book about ghosts? It's called The Ghost Guide. Foolproof ways to detect a spirit. Um, oh, it was, it said a ghost can't be seen and I haven't seen any ghosts. So the proof is all there. <laughs> one has a rectangle shaped nose while the other is a more narrow one. Yeah. I don't know which has which. So at that point it really doesn't matter. <laughs> Your nerves. You seem super nervous. There's anything you can do to help. Um... I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Probably the grave more like, what? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like, we'll probably die before the mystery solved. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've worked on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm gonna find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I don't know for sure. Okay. Let's try visualization experience. What's a visualization exorcism? It's the thing where we pretend. Imagine you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel a cool breeze on your face. And waves slowly move in and then out. It's a safe beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghost around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. Nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. That is pure gold. Sick. Easy. All you had to do was help someone out a little bit. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Got questions for me? No. Wait, gold? Yeah. Yeah, trouble you called it. Thank you. Alright, so now the last thing is getting the shell, which... Okay. These bugs are weird, man. Hi! Can you talk? Because everything else can talk. Okay. I don't think he wants to talk to me. Are you a shell? No. Do I just have to look around the ground for, like, a shell? I think maybe that might be the... The thing we have to do. <laughs> Look at the rat. Where's the rat? I mean, no, the the mouse. We looked at the mouse, didn't we? Is this a shell? I'm gonna turn on CC now because I got blasting music in one ear and then the stream on another. You may want to talk to all the people. Everything else has come from talking to people. Haven't I talked to everyone? Is there anyone I haven't talked to yet? Other than the guy that's been hiding over here that I just can't talk to. Like, I physically can't get there and there's nowhere to go from there. 
Maybe, maybe I can talk to this guy a little more. That cave. You skip dialogue, that's true. The duck with the mirror. <laughs> uh. Okay. All right, nothing with that. Yeah, let's just do all their dialogue. There's probably more. Have we done all the dialogue for this guy? I think we have. Uh, okay, let's just do this. I'm just gonna skip through it real quick because I don't think some of this will be um, interesting. I think it'll just be jokes, but you know. Okay, so he thought he was a toast scientist, not a ghost scientist. Very interesting. That wasn't his whole thing that he didn't want to be embarrassing to me. Well, failed that mission. Uh, have we talked to the sheep about everything? I think we have. This hole. Let's talk about the hole. I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. I've looked no ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole. It gets small as you go. Uh... Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Cool. That's the thing. There's a lot of just fluff. And I am trying to play through all three games at, in one day. So I don't want to just sit here reading all the fluff. Because I will be here for literally like the entire stream. And by the... What? The entire day. Not the entire stream. I mean, I'll also be here for the entire stream. That's also true. This guy's holding a shell. Look at that. Wow. Uh, this guy's been in the water for two weeks. Why'd you want that magnet again? So he attached to the back of a boom. Bo bo a boat. Okay, so I need to get a magnet. So how do I get a magnet? Well, who would have a magnet? Um... Hmm, who would have a magnet? You, you got anything? You got anything cool? Cool and funky? Oh uh, no, I've already talked to you about all that. I think I've already talked to you about everything I can talk to you about. Yeah, I just gotta bring you the explosion stuff. Hmm, last guy's over here. You got anything to say? You got a magnet on you? Nope. So where would I get a magnet? Because we've gone through every dialogue option with everyone. And... Don't think there's anything else to do? Why do you want that magnet? Uh, attached to the back of a boat. If it's sweet as I'll give you this big shell. I thought it'd be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think it was magnetic? How am I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? Okay. All right. This game has gone straight onto my wish list. Gonna add to the backlog of games to play at the next sale. Yeah, it's fun, right? It's so cute. Monkey? I don't know if the monkey had any other dialogue options. We can ask him. There's the boat. I could check the boat. Yeah, that's true. Let's check the boat. Maybe there's something magnetic like that I can just break off of it or something. This is fun, but I gotta get back to work. Okay, nothing there. Welcome back, Cheeky. Are you staying? You were saying you were busy earlier, so I didn't expect you to stay. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> uh, that was easy. Not sure yet? Okay, no worries. What does it say? Notes. Some hole noises need some... Tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. <laughs> yeah, you don't look very qualified. Okay, so we found the magnet. Then we can get the shell. Here you go. Okay, thank you. I might be saying I might not. Who knows? Certainly not me. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. Um... We're slowly figuring out this mystery. Let me talk to you. Give me your glass. Give it to me. I got your shell. I hate stories. Wow. Okay. Okay. Give me my glass. Well, some of us are happy to have you while you're here. 
Some of us. Not gonna name names. <laughs> oh, there's another hole. What is this thing? Oh, I can't get any further down. Okay, cool. I have spare magla flying, gla mag magla flying glass if you're interested. Glass. This is the best ever. Okay. Uh, could I give you my lunch? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the those secrecy, it's pasta. Okay. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Some of us. Hmm. Suspicious. <laughs> Alright, let's make this explosive. Here we go. Let's blow some shit up. Being a frog detective is so easy, guys. Just run around, give people things, get things, and be fine. The only thing correct in that sentence is that I'm here. Well, this is it. Yep, time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry, time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Let's blow it up. Woo! Jazz, thank you for the sub. Sub with Twitch Prime. Four months, poggers, dude. You're getting close to another crown. You got two more... Two more months to go, and then you are gonna have a new fancy crown. Hell yeah. Thank you, bro. Did it show up on screen? Jazz, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if any of you noticed if it actually showed up on screen. It should have. I don't know why it wouldn't have. Oops. Let me just make sure. Of uh, cause I didn't hear the. Yo, the sub. Yeah, I I don't know if I heard the alert, but I think it should have popped. I forgot about Prime. Yeah. Don't forget to wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I can do this cool thing. I can do this. Wait, is it? Did I put it in my stream deck? I think I did. No, I didn't. I have to actually type it. Yo, Cheeky, thank you for the prime. Thank you so much. <laughs> I had a, a... Jazz made a command for me to do Twitch Prime, so I actually brought it into the bot. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Hype train is close. Hell yeah. If you guys have prime, you should check. It's, uh, you can basically send me free money, <laughs> and, uh, if you're not using it on anyone else, that is, it's a, it's a good way to support. Thank you, guys. Alright, let's go into this cave. This is scary. Choo-choo! Oh my gosh, thank you, Treble, for the, uh, for the hundred bits. A hype train has started. Yo, good job, guys. <laughs> thank you so much. I like to give my prime sub to different people most months. Oh, I got you. Yay, choo choo! Thank you guys for the hype train. Appreciate it. <laughs> I got the best community for real. I got a great community. Y'all just show up and watch me play silly little detective games. Oh! Sixty-nine percent. It's a sixty-eight percent on my screen for the hype train. It doesn't say sixty-nine. It was so close. I sometimes give it to Ellie for the support channel, but I just cheated my way into it, so I don't have to do that anymore. I honestly, I uh, if I didn't, if I wasn't his like in his friend role for so long, I probably would have just done the same. <laughs> oh hi, who are you? Travel cheered one bit. Thank you. Please, please give me the one percent. Come on, do it. It didn't do it. No, <laughs> it's still sixty-eight percent. Oh, who are you? Are you a ghost? Huh, what? I don't think so. Tier 10%. It says 69 now. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Trouble. Carrying the hype train for real. Thank you. Hang on. Can I show VOD this? Yes, I can. Hang on, hang on. All I gotta do is um put this over here and do that. 69% hype train. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, guys. For your support looks like i joined just in time yep we got a hype train going people have been very very cool uh let me just fix my chat real quick there we go welcome roth how you doing um i'm just gonna tab back in 
Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. Pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competitions tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, like two weeks, I think. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Wait, two weeks? Have you seen a ghost around? Uh, nah. Shell Sniper Roth. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did it work? Do you t wait. Did it not time him out or did it time him out? On my side, it doesn't say he did. You did, but. I'm gonna assume you did. Uh. What the heck? It didn't. It should have auto timed out. Hang on. Did I break shell snipe? <laughs> I was just helping test it. Well, it wow, it worked for Cheeky though. That's so funny. What the heck? <laughs> uh, well, for fairness sake. Bye, Roth. <laughs> That's so funny. I can't believe that worked for <laughs> against Cheeky, but not for Cheeky. Anyway, let's keep moving. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. Um, okay. I think naps and these mushrooms are pretty... Uh, they're disgusting. No, it's a fact. Okay. This gives us a whole to sound from your radar because you e easily travel up to the surface. I bet super warped too. You think you... You know you've been trapped in here, right? Haha, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> That'd actually be a ghost. <laughs> this is th this is humor that we definitely would make if we are like playing Fall Guys together with me and Ellie. Anyway, done? Anyway, we should he head up to the island. Yeah, okay, cool. We figured out the, the, the mystery. It was very easy. That was a very easy mystery. I assume we're going to have the dance competition before we end. 42 minutes? Honestly, these like seem pretty short games, but... From what I can tell, but it seems fun. Hi, Martin. Hi. Hi. Hey, hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... What? How'd you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and could sound super spooky. But my ghost books. I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. Just goes to show you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Yeah. Books are, without exception, factually incorrect. Inaccurate. Yep. I was just trying to drink some water, and then I realized <laughs> that the creator of the game is just like, Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources, and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. <laughs> That's so funny. I love that. Welcome back, Cheeky. <laughs> so anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to a useless system of books. You're very welcome. Just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep, I'm in to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. It's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrants. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. It's had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry, is that the lobster, the one that talks over everybody? Yep, well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So shall we boogie? Don't believe everything you see on the internet. Abraham Lincoln. Yep. Yeah. Were they just dancing for two weeks? Yeah, they were. They were just practicing for two whole weeks. The Onion is a perfect way. And yeah, Urban Dictionary. Great ways to learn new things. The Onions had some good satire over the years that I, I love. I follow them, so I see some of their stuff sometimes, and they're funny. A game by Grace Buxner. Good job, Grace. Yo, this game is sick. This is a very silly game. I love it. 
This is a masterpiece. Yeah, it is. It's so good. Thank you for playing. Special thanks to Doug Wilson, Lisa Kane, uh, Lacey Kane, Tara Burdak, and Jake Stresser or something. I missed it. It was too slow. Oh my god, one of the Simpsons was in the game. It's so cool. Forget Half-Life 3, where's the next frog detective? Yeah, when are they making the fourth one? I liked the Babylon Bee before they went extremely bigoted under new ownership. Yeah, I heard that they used to be actually funny and then I don't know what happened. Rat Jam actually shows up on my screen, let's go! I love Rat Jam, that's one of my favorite emotes. Okay, I think we practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. <laughs> Rat Jam has to be caps. <laughs> I won't give it to uh, Fresh X or whatever his name is. Oh, yo, those are some moves. Let's go. I love it. Bernie's going crazy. Ooh, the koala's got some moves too. Let's go. <laughs> this is such a cute game. Does Cat Gem also work? Oh my god, it looks like it does. It does. Let's go. Yo, both of those are so good. All the gems. Yo, Mo's breaking it down as well. <laughs> you can tell that like Grace and whoever else worked on the game uh, had a lot of fun with it, you know? Put a lot of love into it. Like this is such a fun little end sequence that they had to like entirely animate themselves. Just for the sake of silliness. Good dialogue, too. It's a good game. It was fun. We got two more still. Pick the winner. Oh, I want to give it to Mo the Mouse. Listen, I thought um, I thought the crocodile did well, but Mo the Mouse, we're going we're gonna to give Mo a chance to get some bitches. Hopefully. Also... Uh, it's a mouse. It's close enough to a rat. So basically I it, I won guys. I won the dance competition. It was me. It was all me I also like how we're playing as Zen right now Like in the lore of the re extended universe your cousin won. That's crazy. Yeah, my cousin won I was definitely not biased Zen simulator. Yeah, this is Zen. This is where she is when she's not uh, modding for me or Ellie or treble <sighs> just watch off to take the rats out what I miss um we just bit beat the game a little bit surprising lack of stabbing true all right a little while later oh we get pictures of every everyone that we beat okay what do you have to say to me frog detective crime solving agency frog detective speaking how may I help you detective supervisor great work on the haunted island mystery Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you bust a move at the dance competition. Yeah, where'd you see that? It was on TV, every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? And handle anything. And I think that's what the next game's gonna be. The detective will return in. <laughs> this is cute. The case of the invisible wizard. Invizard bowl. Yeah. What was the lore? Who was the ghost? Uh, it was... Uh, 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 the friend of that one king. I already figured out all their names. This feels like a parody of how Marvel films end. Yeah, I agree. This was supposed to be a six hour stream because according to everything they said it'd be like six hours. It might not go that long because this took 50 minutes and we're one, like we're one third of the way through. I don't know if later games will take longer though. We'll see. That is Haunted Island done. Let's just check. I want to check achievements real quick. I don't know you guys can't see this, but we just got six achievements out of 18. That makes sense. 
we got a third of the achievements okay well here's what we're gonna do um if you're watching on youtube i'm gonna send you off on your way the second part will be out either tonight or tomorrow like i said i gotta see if i'm streaming tomorrow i have a day buffer before i post a vod um because of twitch rules and stuff so you guys will see it when you see it either look at it in f like four hours from now i normally post at either 2 p.m or 6 p.m for me so check four hours from now if it's not there now it'll be here 24 hours from when this is posted that's about it thank you for watching youtube i will see you in the next vod goodbye